Like, comment, subscribe, zero, zero, zero. Well, I wanted to welcome you to Zero Zero J Love, the arts and craft edition. I am finally finished with this quiet, felt, busy activity book. I have all the pages that I desire and I want inside of this book. So my goal is to show you how I bind my pages together. I only use paper clips or you can use pens or possibly even safety pens or uh, paper clips. No, I, I use paper clips, but what I'm trying to think of, another type of clip. I only used it one time on my clothesline. But what I'm doing is going around the corners and I'm trying to make them nice and neat. And I'm trying to make them in the direction that I am going to sew. So that it's easier for me to sew those pages in. These all have to be sewn. Um, I believe some people do glue their edges or some of their books just to make it easier or they don't even bind theirs the best way to do these the ones that I'm doing is to sew it and so some people may not if they do a no glue or sewing portion then they are not combining two pages most likely or maybe they glued the pages together so I am just going around my corners like I say and I take the paper clips out as I go around. You can use paper clips, needles, whatever works for you. I tried in an attempt but I was very tired but I had to complete this task. I wanted to start my ends on the what would I say the edge not the edge the binding part of the book I wanted to start the sewing on the binding part of the book so a few pages I did not I was unfortunate enough to do that and I wasn't that happy about it nevertheless the ship must sail and so some of my edges or corners are hard. Whenever you hear me saying, oh, I oversized my page or I did too much, it's because, see, right here on the edges, trying to get my sewing machine to go down and I have different levels and it's going up and down. And that's the hard part. Another part that I have to do better with is because my pages have different backgrounds. I kind of cut my backgrounds as I went along as I thought of the idea oh I want a dining room table so let me cut a page out and pick my background and pick my colors see that was the hard hard part for me is trying to design and decorate can you believe it designing and decorating a felt busy book was kind of hard but nevertheless because I wanted some pages to have like this has a different background for the front door and then the dining room had a different background and then my bedroom had a different background all of them themed purple but they were nevertheless different and so I um, need to make sure that all of my pages are the same size that is definitely the goal and that's what I started out doing but a lot of times because I do do freehand some pages were like centimeters, baby centimeters, like half a centimeter off. So it wasn't a humongous amount, but they were nevertheless a little off. So I have to do better on that. So, you know, as you grow, you learn and do better and improve yourself. So that's the goal. And so like my welcome, I was really right on the edge of you barely being able to see my W. So those are the things when I say I make it over, I'm kind of going over the top or using all the room. So I, I, some books are condensed or maybe not so close to the edge. See, just like my dressing room, I only have three outfits outfits and a, and a pajama suit and I made it that big. But <laughs> it's something to grow and something to do 
and uh, just artists and crafts and have fun. And you know something that I really want to make is a quilt. I've never made a quilt and I've always wanted to make it. My auntie used to make us quilts when we were little. And just to pay homage to her, I would love to make a quilt. And I was thinking with this pandemic, you know how you could go to the senior citizens or the YMCA or some kind of center and they would have like these quilt making classes. And I always had that on my list to do, but I don't know now with the pandemic, I guess you can do it virtual. I'm sure you can do it virtual. So some of my edges and then I broke the needle on my machine I'm not sure when I did it luckily I had one more needle left oh my goodness it, it it was such a long day but I had to finish it I had to had to finish it and then also another thing I wanted to determine what pages did I want to go with what page Things that should not be hard, probably, or difficult. I was just like, what page do I want with this? Of course, I want the kitchen with the dining room. And, of course, I want this this dress, this dress, um, dresser with my bedroom. And uh, if I could do it again, I wouldn't want my bathroom with my laundry room. But <laughs> that's what it was. So this is the part I had to really work on was that laundry room and i have it on the back of this no the bedroom this one is uh blank i think it was the other side of what i just did i think i had to go over my my laundry room a, one more time just to make sure i had the um the clothesline secured so this was creative for me and it was challenging and it was fun and I can say I enjoyed it and yes it, it is something to do and sometimes you get tired and the show must go on and keep going and here I caught myself just trying to I had to look at some more videos on the felt book on how to bind but I do have my pages the way I wanted them and I just had to figure back, figure it out again how to bind. And so I was thinking, do you go to the front? Do you go to the back? Just what do I need to do? So once I sewed and stitched all of my edges, I have to go back and bind my book. And I have to make sure that this flap right here, which I ended up doing, I believe, six centimeters, I had to make sure it was enough to cover the book up again. So that was the goal and the challenge. Six centimeters. And I wrote this down this time just in case because it's been so long. I think the last time I put a book together with the spine was December. I still have another book I have to put together. I just haven't done the spine because I had to recall how to do it. And still kept getting confused. Like, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. I'm not doing this correctly what am I supposed to do you're supposed to go on the other side J love go to the other side you'll get it then as I just stitched down I removed the needles
but it was coming along nicely. It wasn't too, too bad. I didn't go until the next day, so I was happy about that. If you ask me what was the favorite page in the book, oh my God, I really don't know, but I might say the bathroom and then the kitchen refrigerator and then maybe the dining room. I think the bathroom because it has the blow dryer, it has the flat iron, it has the shampoo and the soap and the Vaseline and the cabinet open and you can get in the tub and get out and you have your ducky and the rug and the sink and the faucet and the shower rock the shower head comes down and you can use it and hold it in your hand I don't know I had just so much fun with it with the blues and the purples And that would measure three centimeters. The measurements were in centimeters. And I have about five pages. That are, you know, front and back. Except for the last page is just one. I didn't put anything on the very back. So that's my pink one and how I have my spine. I had to look at that to remember. And I did not, I had to cut the front part. I did not remember cutting that, having to cut that. And so I just used the best thing I can use to close in that, that bind, that's uh, the back. And I used the glue, my glue gun, and it worked just fine. Now, how long does it last? I have no idea, no earthly idea. But it, it's really clean and it worked out perfectly. No problems. And I forgot to add my stitch on the back. Completely forgot. So I had to go back and do that. I was like, will it ever end? What else? And then I really would like to have had made a handle. So I just stuck this little part on the edge of the page to come to the front. And I just did a lot of double, triple stitches on it just to make sure that it holds out.
And then guess what? I was like, this sure is tight. I thought I had more room than this. Come to find out, I didn't push. When I stitched it and turned it inside out, I didn't push it out enough. So I had to pull more out. Therefore, it made it a little looser than intended. I think I'm going to add a handle or something to it. Nevertheless, I'm happy with the end result. Thanks for watching. Zero Zero J Love. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.